Hello everyone, in the last video I had teached you how to use Gemini as the host computer to browse the Clipper firmware. Today I will teach you a tutorial on how to operate the CAM bus tool head board BL as a host computer to browse firmware. The text and picture tutorial website will also be included in the introduction for your reference. Okay, let's start the preparatory work now. This video takes 36 boards for demonstration. The 42 boards are the same operation. What we need? A Gemini motherboard. A SD card, a Wi Fi connector, 36 boards, 42 boards, U2C board, 2 or 3 Type C, a CAN connector. This need make by yourself. First of all, we need to insert the SD card with the Linux system into the motherboard. Yes, it is here. And insert the Wi-Fi connector. Here, yes, it is. Okay, then we need to insert the cable for 14.2. This is very important. We must make a short circuit to power on. Yes, this is the photo that you check. Next, let's insert a short circuit for the 42 and 36 board in this place, which is a particularly important step. Then, we will insert the short circuit with this cap. Yes, a small cap insert here. Okay. Let's need a little time. Let's wait it. Yes, now it is okay. Then we can use the Type C USB connection to plug in the computer to power on. And also, we need the Type C USB to power on the 36 board. Yes. Okay, insert to the board. Everything is okay. We need to insert Type C. Connect the board with the computer. Now, power on. Okay, next we will directly open the mobile store interface downloaded at last time to execute the command. Yes, first we need to log in the Fly Gemini board, and then we need enter SSH terminal. Here is the link we can reference here. Yes, we need to copy this and uh, paste. Yes, and OK. Enter. And uh, then we need to copy make ma menu config. Yes, over here. Paste. OK and press enter yes there will pop up a window processor model select this one yes and the clock reference select 8 mh crystal which is okay by default 
Yes. C A M P select P B eight and P B nine. Yes. This one is right. Okay. Then press Q and Y to save it. Now we will copy, make, yes, and paste it, and OK, and press Enter. Now is compilation. We need to wait a few minutes. OK, the creating hex fillout clipper bin means the compilation is successful. Yes, now we will Go to the next step. We will copy this one. Yes, enter and paste. Okay. There will appear DFU model. Yes, this ID. Is appear so we will copy this one paste and OK and enter in the following figure fellow downloaded successful in Dix that the burning is successful yes when burning clipper firmware with CM boot for the first time we need remove the Boot jumper cap and disconnect the USB connection. And now we need to make sure your SHT36 is properly connected to U2C. Yes, we need use Tab C to connect the U2C with the motherboard. Yes, and then we need use a CAN connector to connect the 36 board with U2C. Yes, yes, insert here. Okay, right place. Okay, yes. VCC is positive polar of the power supply and GND is the negative polar of the power supply. Okay, insert here. Yes, here it is. Okay, now. Also here is VCC is the positive polar and GND is the negative polar. Okay. Next. Tab C USB is also used to power 36 board and connect to the computer to power on yes and also connect the motherboard to the computer for power on okay we now go to the mobile store to view the UUID of SHT36 okay you must use passer 3 okay copy this one and the paste here okay and enter Pastor, OK, and the price enter. Yes, then we will wait a few minutes. Yes, as sure in the figure below, detected UUID. Yes, then we will copy this one and the Yes, we need to change this one UUID just appear. Yes, 
and pasta. Okay, enter. Yes. Now, if can flash success appears in the above figure, it means that the burning is successful. Okay, now is success. Yes. Okay, that's all the context of this video. Thanks for watching and hoping it can help you. See you next time. Bye.